Your doctors are depending on a special band of unsung heroes to help them treat your cancer. At LLS, we call these heroes the Extraordinary League of Blood Cancer Tests. Today we'll meet a test with a mouthful of a name, the Fluorodeoxyglucose Positron Emission Tomography Scan. Fortunately, most people just call it the FDG PET scan. If you're asked to have an FDG PET scan, you may have questions like, what exactly is it? And why did my doctor order it? And what can I expect? So let's start with the first one. What exactly is an FDG PET scan? To start, you need to understand a little bit about tumor cells. Tumor cells require more glucose or sugar cells to survive than non-tumorous cells. Your doctors will want to identify them. So, prior to the scan, your doctor will inject you with FDG molecules, which are very similar to glucose, but with a harmless radioactive tracer. Tumor cells absorb the FDG. Then, the FDG PET scanner will create a series of pictures taken from different angles. When all the pictures are put together via computer, it creates three-dimensional images for your doctor to examine. Most FDG PET machines can also do computed tomography, or CT scans. These machines usually look like a big thick donut with a table that slides through it. Why might your doctor order this test? FDG PET scans can help doctors detect lymphoma and other cancers. The test may be repeated over time, so your doctor can see how you're responding to your treatment. What can you expect? Well, before you get the test done, tell your doctors if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. On the day of the scan, you'll probably be asked to refrain from eating for a certain period before you go in. Also, you shouldn't drink any sugary drinks for several hours after the test. You'll be asked if you wear dentures or have any internal surgical devices like implants or metal hardware. You'll put on a hospital gown and will be asked to remove any jewelry or accessories. The technician will administer an IV that contains FDG. You may feel a cool sensation going up your arm as the FDG travels through your veins. Now, for the test to work properly, it's important that you don't raise your metabolic rate. It takes about 30 to 60 minutes for the FDG to get absorbed by your organs. During this time, the technician may ask you to wait in a dimly lit, quiet space to help you keep your metabolic rate down. Afterwards, you'll be taken into the scanning room. What's the machine like? Enclosed scanners look like a long tunnel open on both ends. It will be well lit, and there will be an intercom so you can talk with the technician the whole time. After that, the technician will position you in the machine. You will likely hear loud clicking or buzzing during the test, but don't worry, you won't feel anything at all. Now it is very important that you remain still. The test lasts about 45 minutes. Once it's over, you'll slide out of the machine, and you're done. The results of this test provide your doctors with a very sensitive and relatively rapid assessment of your response to therapy. So fear not. The FDG PET scan and the Extraordinary League of Blood Cancer Tests will always be there to bravely light the way on your journey towards recovery.